Welcome. Today is November 27th, 2019, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. Okay. So yesterday, um, I had uh, created a poll on the community feed uh, to kind of see which uh, types of videos that you would like to see more of on the channel. And the one that had the most uh, votes was Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine Reading. And so uh, I will bring that reading back uh, towards the channel. Um, you know, I know that, you know, over time, you know, there are different needs, you know, along the way, especially if you have been with me from the very beginning uh, when I created this channel. And, um, you know, and I always listen um, to what each and every one of you need as far as like guidance and things like that. So. You know, for today, I will work on a Divine Masculine and Feminine reading, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So let me see. What is the general overall energy of this Divine Masculine towards their Divine Feminine? What is the general overall energy of this uh, Divine Masculine to their Divine Feminine? What is the general overall energy, please, Spirit, of this masculine towards their feminine in this now moment? Thank you, Spirit. We have trust. Leap into the unknown. Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. Wow, this is so beautiful. So, you know, with this Divine Masculine, they're learning to trust in order to move forward. Okay? This Masculine is ready to leap into the unknown and have faith that they will be able to ascend, you know? And, you know, and I feel that this Masculine, if they were not really trusting in themselves and in the connection with their feminine, they now are able to have that trust and move forward. And that's what I'm feeling. Wow. And uh, let me see, what is the over, um, the underlying energy of this masculine towards their divine feminine? What is the underlying energy of this masculine towards their divine feminine, please, spirit? What is the underlying energy? A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. So this is what I'm feeling, you know, for this masculine, if they had trust issues, if they did not really trust in themselves or in the connection with their feminine, I feel like now this masculine is opening up to the idea of reaching a resolution. And I feel like it has something to do with themselves. You know, possibly this masculine is not trusting themselves and enough to move forward towards their feminine but now they are i feel like you know they're being more open you know to the connection for what i can feel so that's really beautiful guys so let me go ahead and see how is this masculine currently thinking about their feminine okay how is this masculine currently thinking about their feminine how is this masculine kind of thinking about their feminine? We have four pentacles. This masculine's holding back, okay? I feel like, you know, before they take that leap of faith, you know, I feel like they're holding on to their resources, their situation. 
um, you know, and, you know, whatever situation that they're in, and the physical. And also, I feel like this masculine is really holding back before they take that leap of faith. That is the feeling that I'm getting here. And... You know, they want to celebrate with you, okay, feminines? You know, and also, yes, this could be about third-party situation, but what I'm feeling is that this masculine is holding back and wanting to reconnect with you. And I feel like it, it has something to do with this masculine's feelings or thoughts when it comes to this connection with you, feminines. They're learning to really trust in themselves. And that's what I'm feeling so far. And that is why this masculine is in an indecision, not being able to make a choice. I feel like this masculine is making a head of our heart decision, being more logical from what I can feel. And, you know, they definitely feel that, you know, this is like a soulmate connection. They are thinking of the past, of the times that you guys would share. And possibly, you know, this masculine could be at an indecision because of children. And that's another feeling that I'm getting. And this masculine does want to offer you a new beginning in love. That's really beautiful, guys. You know, and they want to move forward. They want to, you know, balance themselves out. They're learning to trust and take that leap of faith to move forward so that <clears throat> they, they can be your divine masculine. You know, they want to take control of the situation from what I can feel. And I feel like this masculine is <clears throat> planning for, you know, for, um, you know, like a, a reconnection with you, feminines. That is what I'm feeling. So, let's see. Oh, wow. So, you know... This masculine wants to rush forward, okay? I feel like they want to, to come towards you feminines, okay? And offer you their love, you know? And I feel like, you know, here with this devil energy, <clears throat> you know, they, they were holding back their feelings because they were feeling attached. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. They're, they were feeling this connection with you. And I feel like this masculine, you know, had some trust issues. They couldn't really trust themselves or trust, like, what this type of connection is. But more than anything, this masculine wants to move forward, okay? That is the feeling that I'm getting here. So, let me see. How does this masculine currently feel towards you? in this now moment okay how does this masculine currently feel towards their divine feminine in this now moment how does this masculine currently feel We have engagement, okay? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And so this is what I'm feeling. This masculine is thinking a lot, guys, okay? I'm not going to lie. This masculine is thinking. And, you know, they, they've come up to some sort of conclusion about themselves, you know? And possibly, you know, about holding back, you know, their feelings. They know that they, there is like some sort of a connection or attachment with you. That's why this masculine really wants to come rushing forward. You know, and right now, they, they want to offer you a commitment to feminines. That, that is what I'm seeing here. And they're trying to let their friends help them ask for and accept support from others. So this masculine is asking their friends or people that they can confide in and how to offer their feminine a commitment. Okay, that is what I'm seeing. This is really beautiful. And also... They want to get to know you, okay? As you reveal your animal selves to each other, your bond deepens. This is really beautiful. You know, I feel like the, the, the strongest issue here is about trust. Learning, you know, to know you fully, deep down inside, inside and out. What makes you tick? What makes your heart flutter? Everything. You know, this mask really wants to know you on a deeper level, Divine Feminines. Wow. 
and also we have pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you like i feel that this mask on is you know trying to like be cautious okay you know, and I feel like, you know, this is something that this masculine hasn't really done before. Because I feel like this masculine in the past has come into your life like this knight of wands coming in and out of your life. You know, and they were holding back their feelings when, you know, their feelings were, were running deep with you, Divine Feminines. And that's what I'm feeling. And, you know, they there is like this connection that they just can't deny and they're learning to trust in, in themselves and in this connection and that is why you know they're trying to pay attention to the red flags they don't want to mess anything up they don't want uh, to have a repeat you know of anything that they have gone through especially you know with a karmic situation but i feel like intuitively this masculine knows that this connection is different than any other connection that they have been with okay that is what i'm seeing and here we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life and you know and that's what i'm feeling here you know also you know with this this mask could have you know codependency or addictions you know towards you know either alcohol drugs sex you know maybe attachments to work whatever you know the case is for your masculine you know i feel like <clears throat> this masculine is that's why you know they're paying attention to the red flags they don't they don't really want to mess this up you know and you know they know this that is how they're feeling feminines okay and you know perhaps you know this mask will like to express this to you but that's how they're feeling deep down inside okay so here we have a healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents this mask line is actually healing okay you know they want to heal themselves and whatever situation that is going on with their family before they approach you. That is why this masculine could have trust issues, possibly because they have been in situations dealing with their family or, you know, um, or things of the past. And they're currently healing from, from that situation. That is why a personal issue is reaching a resolution for this particular masculine. Okay. And also, that is possibly the reason why that this masculine was holding back their feelings towards you even though they want to come rushing forward and and like express their love you know they they can't deny that there is some sort of connection that they have with you but first and foremost they know that they have to heal themselves and they know they have family issues that they have to deal with okay also we have here make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take and this is so beautiful guys this masculine wants to make the effort you know when it comes to feminine and i see that because it's right on top of this king of cups okay this masculine knows that they need to come forward okay and make that effort to offer you know their cup of love to their divine feminine and that's what i'm feeling you know, and that's really beautiful, guys. You know, this masculine knows that this love runs very deep. Because I see here this devil energy, right? And finally, wow. We have here worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So feminines, this masculine is feeling that you are worth waiting for. There is this connection that they have with you, okay? This this attachment that they cannot deny, and you are worth waiting for. They know that divine timing is at work in, in their love life when it comes to you. And so, you know, if you guys have been in separation for some time, this masculine is learning to trust in themselves and work on their own personal issues, and so that they can come to a resolution. So this masculine can come forward right uh, come forward quickly after they have learned to heal their family issues healing themselves and healing themselves possibly with children or possibly this could be their inner child okay because this masculine has a lot of love for their divine feminine they just haven't really expressed it to you okay in the way where you know you know 
that your masculine is totally and completely in love with you. Okay, feminines? That is what I'm seeing. <laughs> That's so beautiful. All right. So what is this masculine uh, wanting to do towards the feminine? Okay. In the present moment. Okay. What is it that this masculine wants to do towards their feminine in the present moment? What is it that this masculine wants to do towards their feminine in the present moment? We have the star. This masculine is healing, okay? Healing their family issues from what I can feel. And, you know, once they heal, then this masculine, okay, would like to move forward. They want to come to you quickly. That is what I'm seeing here. And this masculine is being hopeful. They're, you know, they're balancing out their emotions from what I can see. And here we have the high priestess. You know, they're using their intuition about this connection with you, feminines. Okay? I feel like, you know, they are opening themselves up, you know, towards their, what is that, what did I say? Their, um you know, their third eye or their higher level, um, you know, opening up their mind's eye uh, about the connection towards you, Divine Feminine. And that's what I'm feeling. They're learning to trust in the connection. That is really beautiful. And here we have here the Ten of Wands. This masculine is wanting to release whatever burdens that they're currently carrying. I feel like this masculine, you know, um, you know, I feel like they're very stubborn, guys. I'm not going to lie. I just have this feeling that this masculine is stubborn. They like to do things in their own way. But do you see that? You know, as this masculine is trying to work in a, in a way where they're trying to do everything, they're hurting their back. Do you see that? They're carrying all of those sticks kind of like in a weird forward motion when, you know, that mask could easily put five on one side and five on the other and carry it on their shoulders or under their arms, you know, um, to kind of balance some things out, you know, so that they could um, carry those rods, you know, um, in an easier way. You know, I feel like this mask is making things more difficult than what things really are and i feel like that's the reason why this mask only has trust issues i feel like you know if if they have to do things in their own way in order to to complete whatever cycle that they're currently in but i feel like this masculine is finally ready to release those burdens okay because of their intuition and you know they they still have hope okay they have hope and you know they're healing for um in the connection learning to trust i feel like this masculine's biggest issue is trust and here we have the lovers. This masculine, okay, is wanting to make a choice when it comes to their divine feminine. And we have here the five of swords. I feel like, you know, they're in their mind about making a decision. Again, it's, it's trust. It's ego. Okay? It, it's their way of thinking. I feel like this masculine... <clears throat> may have uh, had a little argument with you in the past and they're really reflecting on it that's why they're burdened yeah you know, they're burdened by you know the way that they have communicated uh, to you and um, they're trying to figure out a way how uh, they can heal themselves move forward own up to their actions and apologize okay you know i wouldn't be surprised if we had like the page of cups or a page of um, wands or anything, any of the pages that show up, because I feel like this masculine, once they realize, you know, um, their actions, I feel like this masculine is wanting to come forward and apologize to their feminine, <clears throat> because now they're taking a pause, they're taking a break, they're trying to, uh, you know, reach a certain uh, type of enlightenment before moving forward, okay? That is what I'm seeing. Yeah, because this masculine is really clouded and confused about, you know, how to offer 
their love? How to offer their apology? How could they express themselves? Because mind you guys, look at this. This king has the cup, but he's holding it close to his chest, okay? Not really wanting to <clears throat> expose, like, his feelings, you know? But this masculine is trying to figure it out, okay? And they know that, you know, there's, there's so much, you know, to choose from, you know? But if they choose a wrong, you know, option here, it could be, you know... It, the outcome might not be so great but i feel like this masculine is learning to leap into the unknown and have faith and move forward and believe that they could fly that is what i'm feeling and so that is when this masculine comes in okay and communicates quickly they're like you know i i, I know that there's so much but I feel like I need to get this off my chest. So I want to come in and communicate. So that's what I'm feeling so far overall. <clears throat> so here we have the moon. What I'm feeling here is that this masculine, you know, they're feeling really emotional. They're trying to connect with their feelings really deep down inside using their intuition intuition shining the light to what's hidden and i feel like you know this masculine is feeling this late at night guys okay we just had a passing of the new moon so i feel like you know this is what the new moon is bringing to this divine masculine they're learning that you know they need to heal themselves in order to move forward. Also, learning to trust in the connection with their feminine. More than anything, this masculine wants to move forward towards you, feminine. That is what I'm feeling here. Also, we have here the Knight of Pentacles. This masculine knows that <laughs> slow and steady wins the race, right? This masculine, however, is going to offer their feminine a solid offer but they know that it's taking some time they know that they need to make the effort in order to express their love to their divine feminine so you know through the passing of this new moon i feel like slowly this masculine is preparing to give that offer to you divine feminine they're actually thinking about this right now okay and then finally we have temperance okay this is really beautiful. I feel like this masculine is balancing out their emotions, you know, tempering, um, you know, their feelings, healing themselves, healing themselves from their codependency, their addictions, if they have any kind of like negative uh, attachments. Um, and they know that divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. Do you see the similarities here between these two cards? I feel like this masculine is being divinely guided to really work on themselves, heal themselves, be patient. Like this is a divine process when it comes to their divine feminine. They, they have this understanding that they need to make the effort and give this solid offer to their divine feminine. And they know that, you know, timing, you know, is an issue here between you and your masculine. And I feel like it's because this masculine needed this time to work on themselves and heal so they can trust themselves first before they can trust others. Okay. That is a feeling. That's why this masculine's personal issue is reaching a resolution. It's all about self-healing for this masculine. Healing themselves before they can love their divine feminine. Learning to trust in the connection. Opening up their heart. Because I feel like, you know, this masculine's heart was blocked off or closed off because of past situations. And they're learning to deprogram themselves you know, from their past so they can open themselves up to love. And I feel like an angel, okay? I forget whatever angel this is for the temperance card. But there is an angel that is protecting your masculine and this connection, okay? Because the divine is working through your masculine so they can come forward and take that leap of faith so they can come forward towards you. It, it's it's uh, a slow process from what I can see with this masculine. Okay. So let me go ahead and see. <clears throat> what is 
the blocks, challenges, or obstacles when it comes to this masculine towards their same feminine? What is the blocks, challenges, or obstacles when it comes to this masculine to this divine feminine? What is the challenge for this masculine? We have love. Exactly. I feel that, you know, this masculine has an issue with love. Loving of self first before they can love their divine feminine. That is why, you know, for today, I feel like this masculine is learning to heal themselves and heal their family issues, healing their inner child, you know, because I feel like this masculine uh, in the past would, would come in and out of your life, not really, you know, um, thinking about their actions, just doing things so quickly. And now this this masculine is taking a moment to really reflect on their actions because this masculine has a lot of love for you divine feminines that is one feeling you know that is this challenge here it is loving you completely okay this masculine knows that you are worth waiting for and they're trying to make that effort but in order to do so they have some healing work to do and i feel like with this new moon that just passed through i feel like the personal issue that they have about themselves they, they've reached a, a resolution they've come to a conclusion that it was never you it was them they had personal issues that they had to work on and once this masculine realizes this I feel like this masculine is now going to be more open up to love towards their divine feminine guys. And that is so beautiful. In here, we have patience. This is beautiful. And, you know, we see that here with this uh, temperance card. This masculine is learning patience. I feel like in the past, this masculine was not patient, okay? Hence, we have here uh, this Knight of Wands always coming in and out of your life. But the reason was because this masculine never fully healed themselves. But this masculine, okay, in this present moment <clears throat> is reflecting, okay, really thinking about themselves, about healing, about their, their deepest, darkest secrets, their inner issues that they have to deal with. You know, when it comes to their family and work on that in order for them to come forward towards their feminine guys okay and here we have sexuality you know this masculine i feel that you know when it comes to their sexuality i feel like you know they they feel this connection with you okay that is the feeling i'm getting you magnetize you know your masculine through through this way they still feel like this you know chemistry or connection with you feminines and they know that you know divine timing is at work in their love life you know they're releasing their codependencies or attachments you know uh towards their sexuality also okay that is what i'm feeling you know some of these masculines um maybe had like multiple sexual partners um because of you know something in the past maybe you know when they fell in love with a certain karmic person okay and the karmic person told the masculine that they didn't love them or you know they don't do it for them you know which made uh the masculine feel incompetent you know and that is why you know after this masculine's heart was broken i feel like this masculine you know went out with multiple you know people having you know several sexual partners to to feel fulfilled in a way that has really uh like really broken them deep down inside you know because of a love situation in the past and that's what i'm feeling guys okay like i feel like you know that's for some divine masculine but you know overall this masculine feels the sexual chemistry between you two okay you entice your masculine that's what i'm saying but also i feel like you know some of these masculines they have a, a sexual addiction to having um you know multiple people in their life 
okay and that's a that's a challenge or block for this masculine you know because this masculine was not patient they were not patient i feel like you know they were ready to uh go out and you know get get a, a new person you know it's like you know having one person you know but still like you know having multiple options you know like keeping keeping it going you know making sure that you know um their sexual life was not at a standstill but this masculine the the deepest core issue for this masculine is to heal themselves and it has to do with family issue okay that is what i'm feeling or not feeling like they're enough or they're good enough okay that's the feeling i'm getting wow so let's see here we have home wow again this masculine is really reflecting on what is home to them that is the challenge is it the security okay of a family situation you know or is it you know the feminine there there's a lot that this masculine is actually thinking about since the passing of this new moon that that's what i'm getting this masculine is trying to figure out what is home to them you know, and this feminine is holding an amulet, okay, this green little amulet that has uh, her love, you know. I feel like this feminine is still holding space for the masculine. And, you know, I'm also feeling that a lot of time has passed by because, you know, the wallpaper over here is tearing off the walls. Does that feel like home to you? you know is that home for this divine masculine and i feel like that's the challenge i feel like they're just in a place but they're not feeling it and that's the challenge this challenge is for this masculine to break free or you know from the idea of what home is to them and i feel like it has something to do with healing their family issues guys okay that is what i'm seeing here also we have here sadness oh this masculine is really sad. They're really sad because it's taken them so long to come forward to give this offer to their Divine Feminine. They, they're they sad because they haven't really made the effort to offer their love to you. I feel like this masculine may have missed an opportunity to express how much they feel for you deep down inside. And that's what I'm feeling. There's a lot that's going on in this masculine's mind. You know, so that's the challenge, guys. You know, this masculine is actually feeling really sad. And they need to get out of this mindset. They need to change and work on this situation to really figure out, like, what is their home? You know, even if, if they're at home with whatever family situation that they're in, it doesn't feel like home to them and they're they're realizing this they're really thinking about it they're trying to figure out they're trying to heal their family issues okay they know that they need to make this effort and give this offer to their feminine because they're feeling sad guys they're feeling sad that they're not able to offer you their love at this time and I feel like they're, they're tempering themselves. They're healing. They know that you're worth waiting for. And I feel like this masculine knows that divine timing here is at play. And I feel like it's because of a karmic situation. Because they feel attached to a, a situation, possibly dealing with the family, that they need to get out of. Okay? But if it's not like a family situation, I really feel like it's uh, their... Uh, codependencies, attachments, or addictions. And it feels like towards sex, guys. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I feel like this masculine has a sex addiction. And they're feeling the emptiness from having these multiple encounters because they don't trust anybody. That is why, you know, they were doing a repeat uh, cycle of being in a certain way, not learning to trust, not even themselves. But not even other people. And this masculine realizes this now. Wow. It all has something to do with their past. But this masculine sees that. 
you are worth waiting for and they want to heal themselves practice patience so they can move forward okay and finally we have here self-sabotage i could you not guys <clears throat> wow this masculine divine feminines want to let you know that they realize that they self-sabotage the connection that's why they're healing themselves that's why you know whatever addictions that they've had they know that they self-sabotage themselves from a beautiful connection. And that is why, you know, it's taken this mask on such a long time to make this offer because they're feeling sad now. They're feeling remorse. You know, you feel like home to them. And this is all the challenge. This is the challenge for this masculine is to get out of the sadness and break free okay and make this effort this is in the center of this reading this masculine knows they need to make the effort and give the solid offer of love to their divine feminine but they're feeling the call guys okay they're healing themselves they're learning to trust and take that leap of faith because now this masculine realizes that they needed to work on a personal issue before they can reach out to you, Divine Feminines. And that's what I'm seeing, guys. Wow. Woo! That's some truth bombs right there, right? <laughs> so, let me go ahead and see. What can we expect from this masculine in uh, the near future? What are their actions towards their Divine Feminine in the near future? After this masculine realizes that they self-sabotage the connection and they're sad, they're longing for home, from what I can feel, you know, is this masculine going to make the effort? They know that you're worth waiting for. So let's see, what is the future potential outcome of this masculine's actions towards their divine feminine, please, spirit? We have here Page of Wands. This masculine, I feel like, is going to reach out and communicate to you. Okay? That is what I'm feeling. You know, and typically, in the traditional tarot, you know, the Page of Wands is, is you know, like, uh, giddy, like a youthful-looking uh, boy uh, that has a smile on his face, right? But in the after tarot, this masculine is walking away from the feminine, but they're have they're having a sad face. Okay, so what I'm feeling is that this masculine, you know, may communicate to you, but they might communicate to you in a way where they're not feeling too good about this communication. But it was the truth of you know whatever is going on with their personal uh, situation. And, you know, that is how you build trust, okay? But I feel like, you know, this Divine Masculine will communicate to you, Divine Feminine, but it might not be the best news, okay? That is what I'm seeing. Yeah, because this Masculine has reached a tower moment. Something has shifted in this Masculine's energy, for I can feel. And this Masculine knows that, you know... They have to they have to rebuild something here. Do you see this? Both uh you know masculine and feminine is on the floor, okay? And the traditional tarot, they, you know, they're kinda like, you know, in midstream falling out. But here, I mean you guys are laying on the ground. So I feel like, you know, after this masculine comes in and communicates their truth to their divine feminines, I feel like, you know, um you guys are gonna have like a tower moment. Okay, you're going to reach a realization about the truth that being revealed, you know, about this masculine. And here we have the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, both counterparts are going to be working on uh, themselves on an individual level. Okay, and I've been challenging this, I think, from yesterday. You know, uh, masculine feminines are working on themselves, you know, whatever their uh, issues are. And, you know, and moving forward, you know, that's why Twin Flames, you know, there are, there's a separation, you know, you guys come together and you separate, you know, because each time you separate, you learn to heal and grow and ascend, okay, and then you guys come back together. But I really feel like, you know, after this tower moment, I feel like, you know, you guys are going to be continuing to work on, you know, yourselves, 
before you guys can come back okay that's the feeling that i'm getting here and i see here with the four of pentacles this masculine is holding on to whatever that they have but this grim reaper is like body <laughs> I see that you're holding back. You need to move things along. You have a, you know, a mission that you have to work on. You can't keep being stuck, okay, and sad in your situation, being uh, self-sabotaging yourself and this connection with your feminine, okay, and feeling like, you know, you're not at home. You're in a situation right now where you're not feeling happy. You know, there's a ton of pentacles for this masculine to achieve or obtain. You know, this four of pentacles is, is, you know, just what they have now. But they can have more. And this Grim Reaper is forcing your masculine to change. Okay? And that is why we have here this seven of cups. Okay? Again, this masculine is faced with some sort of a decision. You know, I feel like, you know, your masculine is like clouded in their mind when it comes to making their approach towards you it's because of their past actions guys i feel like for this particular masculine they still have some healing work to do in order to offer this cup of love okay that is what i'm seeing and and here we have the nine of cups and i really feel like you know for this masculine you know they're just being selfish in the past Okay, that is why this masculine, you know, their challenge is this self-sabotage issue. They were out for themselves and no one else, right? You know, they just wanted to make themselves happy, okay? Because they they didn't want to get hurt, guys. They have healing issues, you know, that they need to work on from I can see. And, yeah, and that's why this masculine is coming in, taking control of the situation, okay uh you know and being very cold you know but i feel like you know this masculine is trying to pick up the strength to make things right okay and be this emperor you know take control of the situation at hand so that they can be a leader and a provider okay and finally offer you know that pentacle to you or that cup of love you know as the king of cups and that's what i'm feeling guys okay and then that is that is when this masculine is going to you know come in and communicate and really remove people places and situations that is no longer serving them and that happens after they have healed okay and that's what i'm feeling so here we have the magician this masculine is going to manifest some sort of change when it comes to this home situation and healing you know, their inner issues, healing them, being a player, healing them, you know, uh, with, you know, whatever that they have deep down inside, okay? There is going to be some sort of change here, okay? Especially with the home. So, next we have here Ten of Swords. I feel like, you know, this masculine is finally reached a, a completion or ending of their thoughts when it comes to their sadness, okay because i feel like you know because this masculine have self-sabotaged themselves for a beautiful connection with their divine feminines i feel like this masculine is finally you know getting out of this energy so they can have like a new beginning here okay i feel like this masculine has mourned enough really thought about themselves okay and now they're ready to trust in the situation so they can open up their heart to the connection with their feminine and finally we have here knight of cups <laughs> guys you know in the after tarot you know this knight of cups this knight is drinking from his own cup okay he's not sharing it with anyone else he's drinking it himself and so what i'm feeling is that this masculine, okay, is learning to love themselves first, heal themselves, fill their own cup up, okay, before they can move forward. So, you know, what I'm getting is that this is a work in progress for this masculine's healing, you know, before they can really truly offer themselves to their divine feminines. This masculine knows they have to make this effort. They know it's taking them a long time. 
but you know for this particular masculine it takes a lot of time for them to understand themselves and their actions and to heal themselves you know before they can really truly give you a solid offer feminines okay they know that you're worth waiting for and divine timing here is at play they're trying to be patient they don't want to be this player energy anymore they don't want to come rushing in but they definitely want to learn to love themselves first before they make their approach to you because they know they sabotage this connection wow <laughs> so let me go ahead and see what is it that this mask would like to communicate to you in this now moment? Okay. What is it that this mask would like to say to you in this now moment? Especially about like feeling sad and not really making the effort and you know, they know that they sabotage the connection. They had some unhealthy addictions or codependency in their life, but they're healing themselves, okay? They don't want to be this player or this person that comes in and out of your life, okay? They want to change from what I can see. I'm afraid to open up to you. I don't want to get hurt. Exactly. This masculine is afraid to open up their heart because they don't want to get hurt. Because why? They have been hurt before in the past. Whoever that they gave their heart out to really hurt them. And that's why their heart was blocked off. And that is why, you know, they're afraid to open up to you. But this masculine is learning to heal themselves, okay? And get out of this negative thinking, learning to trust again, okay, trusting themselves and in, in the connection with their feminine, okay, and that's what I'm feeling, but more than anything, that is why this masculine doesn't want to get hurt, but this masculine is hurt because I see that they're sad, okay, they're grieving, you know, what they have done to their divine feminine from what I can see. I just need some space and time, please don't take this personally, I love you, okay. You know, I feel like this masculine just needs a little bit of time, okay? They don't want you to take this personally. They do love you. They just need time to work on themselves, okay? That is what I'm feeling. What else, spirit? I realized how I treated you, and for that, I am sorry. This mask realizes, you know, how they treated you feminines, okay? And, you know... I feel like this masculine has come to a lot of realization about themselves because they know they self-sabotage this connection and they're really sorry and they realize how they treated you and, and they, they really want to make it up to you. I feel like this masculine needs to heal themselves first before they can come in strong with a solid offer. But this masculine has to heal to a certain point where they feel confident and approaching you. Okay, feminines? That is what I'm feeling. I know I am blocking the connection. I am just guarded. Exactly. This masculine knows that, you know, they have been blocking themselves. You know, they were guarded because they didn't want to get hurt. You know, they were afraid to open up and that's why they just needed some space and time. You know, they don't want you to take this personally. They do love you and, um... They just don't like the way that they have treated you. That's why they 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 have a distance from you. Okay, feminines. That is what I'm seeing. So definitely, this is a totally resonant for those feminines who are not in communication with your masculine. Okay, or you're in a physical distance with them at this time. So let's see here. I want to be with you. I choose you. I love you. More than anything, your masculine definitely wants to be with you. They do love you, Divine Feminines. It's just right now, they're learning to trust in themselves, okay? Trust in this connection. They know they have personal issues that they have to work on. It's not you, it's them. And they realize this. That's why they're taking a time out to really work on themselves so that when they come forward, they can feel confident. They know that this has taken them a long time. 
you know they know that you're worth waiting for and this is divinely guided okay so as soon as this masculine uh, worked on themselves healed themselves to a certain point where they can trust in themselves and in this connection that is when this masculine comes forward okay that is what I'm feeling okay so final message from your masculine Please don't leave me, stay. Feminines, this masculine doesn't want you to leave them. They want you to stay. They know that, you know, they've, they've caused some sort of separation or distance between you two. But they don't want you to give up on them. You know, they just have like some healing issues that they have to work on. And, you know, they're afraid to get hurt. They're afraid to be vulnerable. That is why they're so blocked off and closed off, you know. And it's because they're guarding themselves. That is what I'm seeing. So just understand that, Divine Feminines. Send your masculine love and light. Be understanding of your masculine, okay? And, and just know that you know your energy helps them also even if you're not in physical contact you know or, or physical you know um you know f or physically with them sorry guys <laughs> all right so let me go ahead and end this reading with an angel answer card and see what is the guidance message that the holy angels want you to know about your masculine at this time, okay? What is the guidance message for this divine feminine in regards to your divine masculine? What does the holy angels want you to know in this now moment? Yes. <laughs> so this is confirmation that everything that I have channeled um, is correct, you know, especially if you're resonating with this particular reading uh, about your masculine. And, you know, yes, you know, your masculine is actually working through healing themselves. Okay. Just trust that your masculine is going to leap into the unknown and have faith to move forward. Believe that your masculine will will return. Okay, that's the feeling I'm getting. Yes, and the angel says no need to worry. So don't worry, divine feminines. Just continue to really work on yourself first. Okay, while your masculine is healing themselves. Okay, that is one feeling. That's why I saw the nine of pentacles. I just see that the feminines and masculines are going to be working independently and soon. Okay, as soon as your masculine gets out of this energy of feeling sad and feeling uh, you know self-sabotage and really healing their family issues that is when this masculine is going to come forward so no, no need to worry okay feminines your masculine is going to return and you know they don't they don't want you to leave they want you to stay okay so just hang in there also, the angel says to remain positive, okay? Remain positive, you know, about the situation in regards to your masculine. You know, that is what I'm seeing, you know? I know that this twin flame journey is a little rough, but, you know, just focus on yourself. You cannot go wrong when you put your time, focus, and attention on you, okay? Um, you know, and just work on healing yourself, and you should be doing really good, okay? And then final message... We have here no, okay? And every time when I pull up the no card, um, I always pull one more. In the near future, okay? So the time isn't now, but in the near future, I feel like that is when your masculine is going to open up. So trust, Divine Feminines, that your masculine is really working on the situation on themselves, and they will come forward and express their love towards you, okay? So I really hope that you enjoyed today's reading. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome.
-hmm. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can reach me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. And guys, once again, if you're interested in purchasing any of my lovely jewelry, okay, um, you know, it's free shipping, guys. Okay, so um, go ahead and check it out. All you have to do is just go to my website. And also, if you would like to purchase the Scorpio Moon Intuition Deck, okay, I decided to do free shipping on this as well. Okay, so this is only on uh, the last of uh, four decks of uh, cards that I have. So you can uh, take the opportunity, uh, you know, to get the free shipping on this. And for anyone who makes a purchase from me, I will send you uh, some free tea, okay? And I also sell tea, guys, you know. Um, my teas are vegan. They're certified organic. And um, they're, they're delicious, guys, okay? So I want to send you a little sample of my tea, um, you know. And, you know, just tell me what you think, you know. Um, I really, uh, you know, enjoy, you know, um, giving out things, you know, to everyone. And, you know, I just want to give you a little token of appreciation, you know, for being a subscriber. I appreciate each and every one of you, especially for those uh, who have been with me since the very beginning. And thank you for your loyalty. Um, you guys know who you are. And obviously, I know who most of you are. Um, and thank you so much. And I'm almost at my one year, guys, and I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers. So if you're new, uh, please make sure you subscribe because once I hit 4,000, I will uh, give away a free reading. And so uh, I'm very excited to do that. Hopefully I can reach the 4,000 before the end of the year. Um, that would be my goal. Um, and, you know, and it has been a journey, guys, you know, um, we're here for, you know, each and every one, you know, has a, a rough, uh, you know, situation dealing with their twin flame. And so, you know, it's really great to have like a community of people that, you know, we could really, um, you know, kind of like express, you know, like the things that we're kind of going through because you can't discuss this with your regular friends. Your regular friends are not spiritual, you know, um, and they're not open to this twin flame, uh, you know, energy that, you know, we all have experienced. Um, basically, it, it's, it's about spirituality and it's about loving yourself first, okay? Loving yourself first before you can love one another, okay? That is true love. That is unconditional love. And, you know, and it's also, you know, a journey towards enlightenment, that is the journey towards complete happiness, guys. It's not just about love. It's about being happy and content on your own. That is why, you know, have, being in a twin flame connection is really difficult. But, you know, once you learn self-love, you, sh you should be happy, okay? And that, that that's, you know, that's why I do these channel readings, you know, is to help each and every one of you. If you're going through these situations, I want to give you some guidance so that you can really work on yourself okay and towards a connection towards your loved one and so i really hope you enjoyed uh the reading for today and i'll see you next time bye bye